Following U.S. approval for a $45.7 million Javelin missile sale, India is entering final negotiations with a sharp focus on technology transfer and local production. New Delhi is seeking co-production to modernize its anti-tank capabilities while strengthening domestic manufacturing. Bharat Dynamics Limited has already partnered with the Lockheed Martin Raytheon Javelin joint venture to explore production in India. If finalized, the deal could combine proven battlefield capability with long-term self-reliance. India is set to transform Delhi into a heavily protected fortress under the proposed Capital Dome Air Defense System. Integrating indigenous DRDO platforms like QRSAM and VLSRSAM, the shield will counter missiles, aircraft, and drones with rapid 360-degree coverage. Directed energy weapons will neutralize low-cost hostile drones with minimal collateral damage. Network sensors and command systems will ensure seamless threat tracking, marking a major leap in India's future-ready, self-reliant air defense posture. Riding on combat lessons from Operation Sindor, the Indian Army is moving toward a massive induction of nearly 30,000 loitering munitions. Precision strikes using kamikaze drones proved decisive, reducing risks to troops and crippling enemy targets. A fast-track rupees 2,000 crore proposal for indigenous systems is underway, Alongside the creation of Ashni platoons and infantry units, the shift signals a doctrinal leap, placing unmanned precision firepower at the core of future ground operations. Building on proven drone deliveries, the Indian Army is moving to create a dedicated cargo drone fleet to supply troops in remote and high-altitude areas. With VTOL drones tested for 100 to 200 kilograms loads and future plans reaching 500 kilograms, the initiative will cut costs, reduce helicopter dependence, and ensure faster resupply. Autonomous operations will boost morale, improve readiness, and keep frontline units supplied even in the harshest terrains. Russia has operationalized its S-500 Prometheus air and missile defense system, marking a major leap in near-space protection. Designed to intercept ballistic missiles, advanced aircraft, and even low-Earth orbit satellites, the system can detect targets up to 600 kilometers away and engage them at 500 kilometers. India has expressed strong interest and held talks with Moscow, though export approval remains undecided amid Russia's own strategic defense requirements. India's light fuel rocket jet program has drawn bids from 15 defense and aerospace firms, underlining its strategic importance in future missile propulsion. Major public sector units and private giants, including HAL, LNT, Tata Advanced Systems, and Bharat Dynamics, are competing for a foothold. The wide participation reflects confidence in the program's long term value. Notably, Skyroot Aerospace stayed out, likely prioritizing its launch vehicle roadmap as India pushes deeper into indigenous propulsion technologies. China has reportedly begun constructing its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, likely the Type 004, signaling a major leap in naval power projection. Displacing nearly 100,000 tons and powered by twin reactors, the carrier would rival U.S. supercarriers in endurance and combat tempo. The move sharpens strategic debate in India, where planners must weigh investing in larger carriers or expanding nuclear attack submarines to counter China's growing naval footprint across the Indo-Pacific. India's next-generation light artillery, the Advanced Light Towed Gun System, is moving steadily toward trials, with DRDO targeting late 2026 for internal testing. Designed to weigh under 15 tons, ALTGS retains ATAC's firepower, while adding a lighter barrel, reduced chamber and all-electric drive. If successful, the system could replace legacy guns and sea induction by 2029, making it the world's lightest indigenous 155mm 52 caliber artillery platform. France is closely evaluating India's indigenous Panaka rocket system, 
As DRDO advances the long-range precision-guided Panaka MK3, with ranges nearing 120 to 130 kilometers, the system addresses French army gaps left by aging rocket artillery. Combat proven, cost effective and capable of rapid, accurate salvos, Panaka has drawn sustained attention from French officials. As trials progress, the MK3 strengthens India's artillery depth while boosting export prospects and Indo-French defense cooperation. An Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI made a surprise appearance in Australia, this time as a full-scale inflatable decoy, showcased at the Avalon Air Show 2023. Presented by Spearpoint Solutions and built by Inflatech of the Czech Republic, the replica accurately mimics the jet's radar, heat, and visual signatures. Painted in authentic IAF colors, the decoy demonstrated how modern militaries use deception to confuse enemy sensors and waste precision munitions. Lightweight, portable, and quick to deploy, such systems offer a low-cost shield for real combat aircraft. The display underlined rising global interest in battlefield deception amid precision strike warfare. India's fifth-generation AMCA fighter is set to redefine aircraft maintenance through AI-driven, software-defined architecture. Designed for a 75% availability rate, the jet will use predictive diagnostics to detect faults before flights, cutting downtime and boosting readiness. Real-time health monitoring, digital twin simulations, and AI-assisted maintenance planning will streamline repairs and reduce costs. Advanced training using augmented reality will further empower ground crews. Addressing chronic availability issues in legacy fleets, AMCA's digital sustainment model promises longer service life, higher safety, and greater combat readiness, positioning the aircraft as a true force multiplier for the Indian Air Force. The Ministry of Defense has set 2026 as the firm deadline for certifying the indigenous dry Kaveri engine, a crucial step for CCS approval of India's Guttak UVV program. Developed by GTRE, the 49 kN engine will power the stealth drone from day one, with no interim alternatives planned. LNT has been identified as the production partner, while final trials in Russia remain pending. If cleared on schedule, the first Guttak prototype could roll out by 2030, marking a major leap in India's autonomous combat aviation ambitions. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.